Hey, there's an unholy dynamic between big government, big business, and big media. They all benefit by the billions and billions of dollars from this partnership. Pretty weird partnership, don't you think? And it's in all their interest to protect one another. Again, it does sound kind of odd, but they have to kind of stay there. I mean, you got the same politicians always saying, elect me so I can fix all of the problems. Oh, by the way, that I created, the mainstream press told you about, and the rest of the government, they endorse it all the time. Nobody really tries to change anything, because why would they? It's a filthy relationship, and we're all getting filthy rich. Oh, by the way, the money that we're putting into our pockets coming from your pocket, and that's their world. Now I'm going to swing over to Donald Trump. He's one of the few guys that can actually change this because he's been on both sides of the desk and everybody is scared of him. When I say everybody, I'm talking about all the people on the right and the left, the Democrat Party and the Republican Party, and they're saying, hey, what's going on here? This guy doesn't need us. How do we bribe him? He's self-funding. It ain't going on. You know, very good for them. I'll get my verbiage right, but you know what I mean. I mean, Trump is dangerous for these guys. I just hope he doesn't get knocked off. Good bloody grief. I mean, he's a good guy. Come on, Donald. Would you please win this election and get to be president? Because otherwise you're going to be saddled. I'm talking to the country now with a left-wing Bernie Sanders, because probably that's what's going on. Here's a guy in Canada. He's a liberal member of parliament. His name is Mr. Bellinger. First name I won't even try to pronounce. And he's saying, I gotta have this bill passed. I want to make sure that, that it's gender-friendly. I'm talking about old Canada here, because in there it says all of our sons command. That's part of the lingo, you know, the sing-songy, and I want to change it to reflect, you know, both genders. <sighs> well, okay, I guess I kind of get it, but you know what? Who would care? You could put in there, instead of saying all of our sons command, you could put Shetland Pony. Nobody would notice because nobody sings the song anymore. I've been to parades in different places where they have sung it. Half the men don't take their hats off. Nobody seems to care. No school plays it anymore. I mean, nobody's a patriot anymore. Why? because of you, because you're a liberal MP. You guys have just removed the nerve from the Canadian citizenry because nobody cares anymore. I mean, generations and generations of kids are growing up and they don't know anything about it, and you're worried about some verbies about son or daughter? What is wrong with you? I mean, Come on, I mean, oh, how can I be proud of a country, by the way, when everybody in the free world is fighting against terrorism in Canada says, oh, we're taking our planes home, but we'll come over and help you wash the dishes. What a bunch of cowards, we're led by cowards in Canada, and you want to change a song? That's the best you got? <laughs> really? I mean, the whole world is collapsing around us, everybody thinks we're cowards and they laugh at us, and you're saying, change the song. Can't we be proud of who we are? We used to be. I remember when we were proud to be men and women were glad that we were. And now you, you know, you're again cowards. I can't use a word enough because that's kind of what you are. The mainstream press in Canada is going downstream. They're closing up day after day, and it's about bloody time because all of their left-wing pointed views, they're not needed anymore. Now you got the government saying, hey, some people in government saying, hey, maybe we should fund you people because you're an essential service. We should keep you here so everybody can watch and read you every day. I hope not, and I don't think so. We don't need their opinions. I've been waiting forever to get rid of the mainstream people because they're a bunch of commies anyway. They're trying to brainwash us, and it works. You got NDP, socialists, school teachers, 95% of them brainwashing all the children up to a certain age before they come out of the ether. And then you got the mainstream press to kind of take over where the teachers lose out, right? And we're going to fix this mess. And it's pretty easy because politically right is right and left is wrong. I mean, it's kind of like the Chinese cook said, use noodle up here, not the noodle in the soup. And that's what you need to do if you want to be smart. Leftism doesn't work, it can't work. Let me end this little rant with this, gunfight rules. First, have peace. And peace is when everybody stands around reloading. In a gunfight, the most important rule is have a gun. Hey, y'all come back tomorrow. We're gonna more for you from the right. See ya.